Is the Microsoft UX design certificate actually worth it? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. My team and I went over the certificate and we're gonna to present to you an overview of the course. We're gonna talk about the time to completion, the cost, the demand, the salary that you would expect if you were able to land a job, the production value and the engagement of the course itself, its chances of landing you a job, the overall yeah. value that it offers. And then at the end, we're gonna give an overall score. So if you appreciate us making this type of content, let us know by gently tapping the like button and let's jump into it right now. So this is a professional certificate offered by Microsoft and it's hosted on Coursera. Link to it will be down in the description and the pinned comment below. You can check it out, but it is a four course series, meaning there are four different courses inside that you have to go through in order to get the certificate. And if you're interested in landing a job in the tech industry, specifically the creative side of things, even if you don't have background knowledge, this certificate might be right for you. Stay tuned to find out. And they claim here on the website that you can launch launch your career in UX UI design, build job ready UX design skills through hands on projects and learn to use industry leading tools like Figma, no degree or experience required. So basically what they're saying is this certificate can aid you in landing your first entry level job in UX design. And that can help you get your foot in the door in the tech industry, which can lead to even higher level jobs down the line. So sounds good in theory, but let's dive into it a little bit deeper and go over an overview of the course. So course one is fundamentals of UI UX design. Course two is designing for user experience. Course three is user interface design and prototyping. And course four is UX design in practice, accessibility and collaboration. So let's talk about the time to completion. They say it'll take you about two months to complete the certificate with 10 hours a week worth of work. And it's a flexible schedule so you can learn at your own pace. So if you wanna do the work at 6 a.m. in the morning, Morning, you can do that. If you want to do it at 10 p.m. at night, you can do that as well. Now, typically with these Coursera professional certificates, they'll say, you know, five or six months and almost everybody online reports that they're able to get it done in something like one to two months. And so when it says two months here, it's a possibility that it might actually take two months, but I highly, highly doubt it. Typically, if it says two months, you could probably get it done in a few weeks. So most likely this certificate will take you a few weeks to complete. And even if it does take two months, you can compare that to a boot camp, which typically takes anywhere from three months to 12 months. Or you could compare that to a college degree, which typically takes 5.1 years on average in order to complete at the bachelor level. So overall, the time to completion is amazing. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 because you can get this done incredibly quickly. And according to them, it is going to significantly help you get a job, but we'll get to that later. Quick pause to share a really good deal with you thanks to our sponsor, Coursera. There's a deal for the Coursera Plus monthly subscription until August 9th. You get 50% off the first month of Coursera Plus. You have unlimited access to over 7,000 courses. And these are from top universities and companies such as Google, IBM, and Meta. You can explore careers in cybersecurity, data analytics, business analytics, user experience, and more. And you will earn unlimited certificates at no extra cost. So join the rest of the learners who report personal benefits like boosted confidence and a sense of accomplishment. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Sign up with Coursera Plus monthly today. Links in the description and the pinned comment below. Next, let's talk about the cost. So Coursera basically charges about $49 a month. Sometimes this changes. Sometimes they charge maybe a little bit less if there's a promo. Sometimes they charge more, but it's typically about $49 per month. And they give you a seven day free trial. So you can actually just try the course out completely free for seven days without having to pay. So there's a very good chance if you use the seven day free trial and then you pay the $49 that, you know, that's a month and seven days you're very likely gonna be able to get the entire certification done in that time. So it probably just costs you $49, but let's say it does take you the full two months, that would be just $98. Additionally, they do have scholarships for certain people from uh, backgrounds where they have trouble paying for it. You can definitely check that out on the website as well. Sometimes they offer scholarships to other countries too. And sometimes the price is going to be different depending on the country uh, that you are living in as well. So definitely just click on the link and check that out so that you can see what the price is for you. But if you compare this to other ways of getting educated, such as a boot camp, boot camps are typically going to cost anywhere from $3,000 on the low end, all the way up to $30,000 on the high end. College degrees on average cost about $108,000 over four years. And like we said before, most people take 5.1 years on average. So it actually costs more like $130,000 to $140,000 now. 
And that's just if you go to an average college. If you go to an elite college like Harvard, it's likely gonna cost you over $234,000 over a four year period, which again, it'll probably take you 5.1 years on average. So it's gonna be over $250,000. And that doesn't count the amount of interest that's going to rack up because you're likely not gonna be able to pay that off right away. And it also doesn't count the opportunity cost of the money that you would have been earning if you just went straight into the workforce. So the real cost of that type of college is likely well over $500,000. So when it comes to the cost, this one is an absolute no brainer. Other ways of getting educated in the United States of America, especially, are incredibly expensive. And I've talked many times on my channel about why this is, why college is so expensive in the United States, and it's a pretty messed up system. But with that being said, this is very affordable. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 score when it comes to the price. Next, let's talk about the demand for UX and UI designers. Now, UX is basically user experience. This is the more artistic side of UX UI. UI is user interface, which is more of the analytical side. But most employers are gonna expect you to have some knowledge of both of them. Even if you get hired as a UX designer, you're gonna have to have some knowledge of UI. And currently, UX is booming. There's a lot of people that are trying to get into it because it is a relatively artistic career and it pays really well too. And a lot of people out there want to get paid to do art, of course. And most people online, even on super negative places like Reddit, agree that there is a lot of demand for UX designers. If you look at government websites like BLS, you'll see that web developers and digital designers, which is what UX design falls under and the way that BLS categorizes careers, they're growing at about 16%, which is significantly faster than average over the next 10 years. And if you look on LinkedIn, you sort by entry level jobs only and you type in UX design, you're gonna see thousands of results of people who actually have posted jobs for UX design roles at the entry level. So the demand overall is pretty solid, but with that being said, if you wanna get paid to do an art related career, you're gonna to have to be really good. And so this isn't gonna have as high of demand as some of the other careers out there, but it's still pretty good. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 score. And by the way, comment down below if you have any experience with UX design. Maybe you think it's, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. Maybe you had a mediocre experience, or maybe you think there's a ton of uh, demand, or maybe you think it's just terrible, right? Comment down below if you have any experience yourself or maybe a friend has experience about it. Now let's talk about the salary. So UX designers make about 89 to $161,000 a year. That is ridiculously good, especially when it comes to an art related career. But when you first become a UX designer, obviously you're going to be making a little bit less than that. So this person, for instance, says they're making about 62,000 per year base. That was two years ago, but that's likely a little bit more realistic, somewhere around 60 to 80,000 right when you start off. So the salary is really good, especially for an art related career, I have to give this one a 9 out of 10. Next, let's talk about the production value and engagement of the courses. So it's hard to say overall because the certificate just came out. So there's not really much feedback on it. So we basically have to gauge our rating here on other Microsoft certificates that they've put out. And overall, people overwhelmingly have pretty positive things to say about them. Microsoft has been putting out certificates for years now, and people have been getting them and they've been helping them to land jobs. So yeah, it's hard to say for sure. And maybe I'll remake this video and revisit it. But I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10. And by the way, share this with a friend who you might also want to take the certificate with. A lot of the time, it's fun to take a certificate with a friend. If you share this video with them, maybe it'll convince them to take it. Now let's talk about the really important one, and that's its chances of landing you a job. And the truth is, guys, this certificate on its own is very likely not going to land you a job. Will it help you get a job? Yes. If you already have a base, you've already got a portfolio, maybe you've taken some other certificates and you, you know, you're already relatively good at UX design, there's a very good chance this is actually gonna help you land a job. But you're definitely gonna need to have a portfolio, you're gonna need to be able to demonstrate your skills, you're gonna need to be able to use some of the common tools such as Jira or Sketch. And if you have those things along with the certificate, you have a really good chance of landing a job. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. It does maybe give you a puncher's chance of landing a job on its own, but most likely you're gonna have to have a portfolio and do other things as well. Now let's talk about the overall value that it offers. This basically gives you unparalleled value. There's no other type of education you know, colleges, boot camps, courses, et cetera, that gives you this kind of value. For only $49, you can seriously have a puncher's chance at actually getting a job, but also creating a portfolio, it can give you a very good chance of getting a UX design job. You know, it teaches you how to use industry leading tools such as Figma. You're probably also gonna have to supplement that with some other tools like Jira, et cetera. But it really makes UX design information and knowledge accessible 
to a broader audience of people. You don't have to go through the gatekeeper of college in order to become a good UX designer. You don't have to go through a super expensive bootcamp to do it either. And it looks really good on a resume when they see Microsoft, because a lot of tools are going to be integrating with Microsoft at various different companies that you might work for. You know, when it comes to what you'll learn, you are gonna be learning really valuable skills. When it comes to the skills you'll gain, they're gonna teach you user experience, prototype, wireframe, artificial intelligence, and Figma. On top of that, you also get a resume review, you get interview prep, and you get career support. And on top of that, many people on my channel have actually reported that companies will find people through the certificate. So you can actually list this certificate once you've gotten it on LinkedIn, and there are some recruiters and people who hire for jobs out there that will actually search people based on the certificate. I've gotten tons of comments on my channel through people who have actually been found through their certificate. So companies do respect these Coursera certs. So the overall value that it offers is 10 out of 10. There is no other type of education that is going to be this accessible and this affordable. And the overall score for this is going to be 9.2 out of 10, which is excellent. So in conclusion, the only people that are gonna be disappointed with this are people that think taking this certificate is a free ticket to a job. I, I mean, come on, it's $49 a month. It's, it's probably $49 total, maybe $98 total at most. You're not gonna be able to get a job with just $98 worth of investment, but it's much cheaper than all other education alternatives. And as long as you understand the value proposition of certifications and certificates, then it's gonna be hard for you to be disappointed by these because these are teaching you the actual in-demand skills that companies are looking for right now. That's the whole reason why they started creating these certificates is because college degrees were not teaching people the skills that companies were actually looking for. The curriculums were being made by professors that maybe learned the skills 10 or 20 years ago, but they did not know what companies were looking for now. Whereas these certificates are the other way around. They are made by the companies, and so they know exactly what skill sets they're looking for. So as long as you have the correct expectations, this is not gonna disappoint you. One analogy that I always like to use is different tools are gonna to be good for different situations. If you have a nail, you need a hammer. If you have a screw, you need a screwdriver. And if you have a bolt, you need a wrench. So a certificate or a certification is a tool that can be used in the right situation to get you the outcome that you desire. Same for a degree, same for a boot camp. So saying one is better than the other doesn't really fully make any sense because they're used for different jobs and different situations. But with that being said, these certificates for the right type of person in the right situation can be a phenomenal investment. And that's why I recommend them. And I'm gonna give this one two thumbs up definitely check it out down in the description and the pinned comment below. And by the way, guys, full disclosure, I am an affiliate of Coursera. So if you check it out and you end up buying it, I will get a small percentage of the sale. But with that being said, I was actually promoting them before I was ever an affiliate for them. And I said a lot of good things about them and they've actually gotten better since then. So yeah, definitely check that out. Also check out this video where I rank some of the best certificates that Coursera has to offer right here.